welcome to another episode of Charleston Living with Cindy. Today is a really cold day outside. It's definitely January. It's definitely winter. So I am going to make my husband's secret recipe, what I call five can chili. Um, and the reason why I call it five can chili is just so I can remember what to get at the grocery store. So to make this chili, it's really simple. Um, and all you need are these ingredients right here. So I use the Mexican style chili powder. Um, so you're gonna need that. You need some onion powder and garlic powder, um, salt and pepper, of course, beef, uh, beef broth, some Rotel, and you can use whatever Rotel you want, but I just use the original. Then I get one can of kidney beans, the kidney chili beans, and two cans of the pinto chili beans. Now, with those, you can also make them to your heat level as you like. I have a little bit of reflux, and so I use the mild, and then my husband uses some Texas peat to spice it up for himself, because um, he can eat things that are crazy hot. It's amazing what he can eat. Um, you also need an onion, and I use some green onions or some leeks. I got these from the local farmer's market, Carolina Market in Somerville this morning. Um, and then you can also, or you also need uh, two, packages of ground turkey. Now this is turkey chili, so um, it's it's a lot healthier than the beef chili. Um, this is also good for those high protein diets. Uh, so you've got that. Now for garnish, I use the green onions, of course, and then there's cheese and sour cream. Now, like I said, my husband, he likes it spicy and he doesn't like to dress up his chili. So the only thing he uses to dress up his chili is the Texas Pete. Um, so anyway, we're gonna get started and I can't wait. There's very little prep. It's really easy breezy and we'll go from here. So right now we're gonna do the prep work and it's real easy. So um, you're gonna wanna take the ends off of your onion, of course, and then peel it. And um, you're gonna also wanna core it. So you peel and core your onion and you divide it into fourths and then you're gonna use your food processor to chop the onion pretty fine um but again if you like big chunks of onion in your chili then by all means you know you just do it to your taste there's no right no wrong um and then you can have it the way you like now I do it in the food processor because it's just a lot easier. Also, you can buy those pre-cut onions at the grocery store, which a lot of times we do if we're in a hurry. And honestly, you know, I mean, this is like two hours, not even that. It's just because I'm a slow cooker. Um, but anyway, it's about two or an hour and, and 45 minutes total time from start to finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop these in here and you just pulse it for a couple minutes or for you know a little bit until it's to the desired uh, consistency that you'd like. And then I cheat and I turn it on because I'm also very impatient. And that looks good. So we're gonna take that out and start browning the uh, turkey meat and we'll get going with that. Okay, we're gonna get cooking now. So I have some olive oil, which I have already put a uh, drizzle in the pan, just like that. Uh, also, I have chopped up some onions. Um, I did that whole white onion in the food processor. Um, I chop it up pretty fine, but if you like chunky chili, then go for it. You, you do you, because this is your chili, all right? Um, so I'm waiting for that to heat up. I've got this on medium-high heat and we're gonna get this going and then um, We're gonna spice it up as well. So I'm gonna dump in the onions and get those going first. I pretty much brown everything together 
so that everything is just easy breezy. And of course, I've washed my hands. So uh, that gets started and I'm just going to spread that around a little bit in there. It's gotten, it, I've got a hot pan now, so make sure you keep that in mind. You want it to get really hot. I'm going to dump in the turkey and this is where I spice up the meat. Now I spice up the meat so that it, uh, absorb some of the flavors so that it just gets a good mix of flavors once you put it in the chili. If you put everything in the chili broth, then the meat kind of tastes a little bit bland. So you want to make sure that you uh, season your, your meat. All right, now I just take a little bit of salt, put it in there. I take the, the top off the pepper, and I use the coarse ground pepper. I like coarse ground pepper, but it's all up to you. Just a little shake there. Uh, and of course, all this is, is at your discretion. So now we've got the garlic powder. Can never have too much garlic. And so I put a good bit in there. I'm, I do like, you see how I'm shaking? One, two, three, over the top. I'll send you measurements, but again, everything is to your taste, right? So now we got onion powder. And that's it for right now. Um, I also sometimes put some regular chopped garlic in there, some fresh garlic, uh, just because we are a heavy garlic onion family. Don't let us breathe on you. <laughs> So this is going to cook up, and while, after this is browning, then we're going to put in the cans, but I will take you there as this goes. So I want to make sure that everybody understands that while you are, while the meat and the onions and your garlic and everything are cooking, you're going to want to break it up. So take your, your spatula or whatever you're using and just keep breaking it up. Make sure that you uh, break it up real fine because otherwise you'll have a lot of chunks in your chili. All right, so we are in the final countdown. Um, we have the turkey and onions have married nicely and it's a little gray, but I mean, that's normal anyway because really I'm using a, a pot that probably wouldn't brown this anyway and there's liquid in there so if you see there's onion and there's a few chunks in there and there's some liquid and then the turkey is cooked all the way down so now if you don't have a pot that has these these cool handles on it please use a hot pad when you're moving things around so after that uh, we are adding some uh, can of beef broth and that gives it a beefy flavor. And then we've got two cans of, I use Bush's Pinto chili beans. Can of Rotel. Five cans, guys, five cans. Um, that's how I remember this chili and how I remember the recipe. And then one can of... The chili beans that are kidney beans. I like the pinto beans. My husband and I like the pinto beans mostly, but we add the kidney beans in there for the extra protein and just adds a little more flavor. So you're gonna stir that up a little bit. And we like kind of brothy chili too. So, I mean, you know, you could add more beans or whatever, or add more turkey if you like a, a more stew chili, but we like a little brothier chili. So that's gonna um, go ahead and cook down. Now, I use two capfuls. This is real easy. I just take the cap and I use two capfuls. And again, because I, I love spicy, 
I just can't eat spicy because I have a little bit of reflux. So this gives it that nice chili flavor and a little bit of heat, but not enough to make me regret that I ate it. And then uh, again, Texas Pete, if you like, if you are like me, but you've got other people in your family that eat really super hot things, they can add as much Texas Pete as they want. It's not going to change the flavor of their chili other than adding the heat. So be good to go there. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to leave this on uh, like, oh my goodness. You're going to leave this on a medium heat and wait until it starts to simmer. Or actually I've got it, I've got it a medium high, but it's a little bit lower than when I was cooking the turkey. So you're going to wait for this to simmer, give it a cover, and uh, then once it simmers, you're going to turn down the heat to a low, and you're going to let it simmer, but make sure it's, it's your low that allows it to keep simmering, but not super hot, and let it cook for an hour and a half, all right? And then, then we'll go ahead and we'll uh, bowl it up, and we'll garnish, and we will be good to go. And Guys, while your chili is simmering, we're going to want to get the garnish going. So I have these beautiful leeks here and um, that I got in Somerville this morning. You're going to want to cut off the ends, take any of the uh, discolored leaves off, and then peel them down so that you've just got beautiful interior leak showing and you don't have any of that icky outside that's been in the ground so did you guys have a good for or a good uh new year's we just kind of hung around at home we didn't do too much looks sounds like i've got a delivery coming to the door that's my babies we got Xavier, he's he's my little gray Yorkish Shih Chihuahua. And we've got Liam, who's a miniature poodle. And then we've got uh, Lottie, who is coming at the end of the month. Can't wait to introduce you to him. He's going to be, he's a toy miniature poodle, but he's just going to be our new baby. Xavier is getting up in years. So we decided it's time, and he doesn't like to play too much. So we decided that it's time for uh, Liam to get a buddy of his own that, that will maybe help him lose some weight because he really needs some Jenny Craig, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so you're going to want to cut these down and cut the greens and everything because you are using them for garnish. You're going to want to cut them down. I am a messy uh, prep cook and I'm a messy cook in general. So my husband actually likes it when I make these videos because I clean up as I go, which I don't usually, I usually wait until the end. That's the kind of cook that I am. So you're going to have these um, pretty leeks and stuff for garnish. And you can also just use, if you've got extra white onion because you didn't use it all for, um, to go in with the turkey then you can you can use that for uh, garnish as well. And some people just don't don't even want added onions um, on top of their chili. So we make sure we're not gonna be around other people when we eat this stuff. Because we put so much garlic and onion. Again, everything is to your taste, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm really excited because my husband and I both love this chili. And again, it's a high protein. Um, low carb, uh, cold evening dinner, although we do eat it in the middle of summer too. That's how much we love it. So, um, we will be finishing up the chili. I still haven't turned the timer on yet on it because it's, I'm still waiting for it to come to a boil and then I'll turn it down again to low and set the timer for an hour and a half. And that's just to soften the beans and let the flavors marry. Because it's really important that you you let everything work together. All right, guys. I will see you in a little bit. Okay, guys. Bit. So I have the chili 
simmering now, but I just wanted to remind y'all that as it's simmering, you're gonna wanna make sure to stir it, you know, hit the bottom. Isn't that a pretty color? Ah, I was trying to see here. Isn't that a pretty color? Look at that chili. So you're gonna wanna keep stirring it and that way uh, you don't have it sticking to the bottom and you know, just in case you forget about it, that kind of thing. So um, yeah, we're well on our way. We've got one hour and 12 minutes left. So excited. It's gonna be a good dinner tonight. Thanks. Everybody